Hello, I'm Dr. Mark Ashton-Smith. In this IQ MindWed vlog, I'm going to introduce you to a new principle in effective evidence-based brain training, brain network modularity. The cognitive interventions to increase intelligence often target working memory. The dual MBAC is an example of this kind of training as implemented in IQ MindWear apps. Here's a chart showing the training effect sizes of lots of published dual MBAC studies by different labs over the past decade. And each dot is the average effect size of a study and each line is the spread of individual scores in that study. And at the bottom, you can see the average effect size for all the studies. This kind of overview study is a meta-analysis. Dr. Auer and colleagues at the University of California's Working Memory and Plasticity Laboratory published a meta-analysis of the effects of dual MBAC training on improving fluid intelligence back in 2014. They concluded, in total, we included 20 studies in our analysis that met our criteria and found a small but significant positive effect of NBAC training on improving fluid intelligence. Another recent meta-analysis by Severi and her colleagues also concluded there was a small but significant effect size for non-verbal fluid intelligence as well as working memory and cognitive control. Small here is an effect size of around 0.2 or 0.25, or the equivalent of just three to four IQ points. What this means is there's a spread of IQ gains for different people doing the training around an average of three to four points. It looks something like this. Some individuals gain far more IQ points than others, as you can see. Researchers looking for the most effective cognitive interventions have, for this reason, started looking at the question, why do some people benefit far more than others? What individual characteristics might make a difference here? The evidence is accumulating that how much brain network modularity a person has, whether they're young or old, is the best way of telling how much they're going to benefit from their cognitive training. Here's research published by a team at the University of California, Berkeley, looking at young adults. It concludes higher baseline modularity predicted larger training-related cognitive gains in young adults. Here's some data published by another team in 2018 for illustration. The x-axis shows two different measures of brain modularity, and the y-axis is training gain. The data demonstrates you get increasing training benefits from more brain modularity for working memory, fluid reasoning, language and social skills. So what is brain network modularity? It's a property of the connectivity patterns of neural circuits throughout the whole brain during information processing, and it's measured by brain imaging techniques. When a brain has high modularity, it means subdivisions of the network are strongly linked internally, but only weakly linked externally. Measures of modularity quantify how well a network is organised into densely interconnected communities with thin external links between each other. Here you can see the different modules colour-coded. Here are brain images of two young adults on the left and two older adults on the right. See how as a person becomes older they lose some brain network modularity as the information processing modules become less segregated. This effectively means there is typically more noise or crosstalk while processing information in older brains. Having more modularity also means that there are more densely connected modules throughout the brain. Here are the modules of six individuals in a resting brain state. And you can see how a couple of them have far more modules to access while information processing than the others. In this 2019 review of the brain modularity hypothesis for effective brain training, the authors formulate the current state of play. To quote, a promising line of future work will be to use network biomarkers to maximise outcomes. For example, can baseline brain modularity measures be used to identify optimal intervention dosage? Further, could brain states be manipulated to increase modularity prior to an intervention to enhance an individual's outcome?
At IQ Mindware, part of our new training method involves improving brain modularity in combination with regular brain training interventions. In follow-up videos, I'll be explaining how you can increase your brain network modularity to increase the intelligence gains you get from your training.